sauerkraut. Well, this channel is about health and well-being and how not to pay an arm and a leg and yesterday's toenail for it. In my previous video, Apple Ginger Beet Kvass, I talked about having leaky gut syndrome. As I said before, leaky gut syndrome is the uh, increased intestinal permeability of the intestinal wall, therefore letting toxins permeate right through uh, into the bloodstream. At one point, my naturopathic doctor asked me if I'd be willing to take a food allergies test, a blood test for food allergies. I was like, whatever, I'm having sinus infections, I'm having uh, gut problems, digestive issues. Uh, I, was, I was in pain. After my naturopathic doctor had suggested I get a uh, test for food allergies, um, it came back that I tested positive for 34 different food intolerances and allergies. Previous to 2011, I had absolutely no idea why my digestive system was going haywire and my sinuses and ears and upper respiratory problems were just increasing. It was all an immune response to foods I could no longer tolerate. Holy Hannah, what is the cure for this? Well, there is no cure. What it meant was a lifestyle change. Two of my most reactive food intolerances are wheat and chicken eggs. People often ask me, oh, so you're, you're gluten intolerant or you're, you're gluten free. Well, the answer to that is yes and no. For some reason, I can easily eat and not react to other foods that contain gluten like rye, but whenever I eat wheat, it, my skin breaks out and it looks like I have the pox all over my shoulders and my back. Chicken eggs are a whole nother story. Any exposure to chicken eggs starts an even scarier response. The first sign is that the roof of my mouth blisters and peels. Um, after that, uh, my throat might get tight, and then all bets are off. I'm beating cheeks to the biffy, and God help you if you're in my way. Yes, a lifestyle change was a must. Certainly no wheat, and absolutely no eggs. <sighs> but quality probiotic supplements we're breaking the bank at $35 to $50 a bottle for two weeks. I couldn't do it. Then a friend of mine told me to eat sauerkraut. I thought she was crazy. But as it turns out, two ounces of sauerkraut juice has more probiotics than a hundred probiotic capsules. Let's do the math. A hundred divided by two is 50 days. 50 days of probiotics in two ounces of sauerkraut juice. And the best part was I could make it myself. And I did. In the summer of 2015, I made my first gallon of fermented sauerkraut. And since then, I haven't stopped fermenting my own probiotics. This is now how I get my probiotics and continue to improve my health and well being every day. I've expanded my arsenal of probiotic foods far beyond sauerkraut. They include, but are not limited to, different sauerkraut concoctions like pineapple turmeric sauerkraut, ginger jalapeno sauerkraut, red cabbage sauerkraut with beets. Also, um, as I made in my last video, apple ginger beet kvass, and beet kvass made with other fruits and vegetables. I also make fruit kvass, apple cider vinegar, kombucha, and water kefir. That's, that's just some of the things I've been working on since I started on this journey. <laughs> All of this not only improves and continues to grow my healthy gut flora, it also taps into that creative streak I have 
as I continue to experiment with new flavors, ferments, and recipes. I hope you continue to come along with me on this journey as I share recipes and experience with foods that go far beyond sauerkraut.